I'm looking for something. Not cash, not fame, not sex, not girls, nor boys, nor things, nor status. I don't know what it is. I'll know it when I get it. If I get it. I'm a writer. I write. I don't get published. I don't get paid to. I write. I'm a writer. I know I'm a writer because I write. I put a pen in my hand. I put the nib of that pen on the paper and the words come out. Or at least, they're supposed to. Or at least, they're used to. Technically, I don't have to finish or publish anything to be a writer. I just need to write. If I don't, then I'm not a writer. And I want to be a writer. Well, kind of. The problem is, I don't know what to write about. I've been stuck for months, days, years, minutes and hours facing a blank page or a page or just a few notes. I'd be happy to screw up that page and throw it on the floor. Except I can't. I'm fixed. In front of it. I can't help it. If writing was illegal, I'd be in jail. So what's the point? I can't even write. So why is something making me, why is something making me sit here like a fucking idiot with nothing to write? I climb through the cracks and crevices of my mind, hunting, stalking an idea. I can't stalk something I can't see, but I stalk it anyway. I suffer. I wait for an idea to drop. The isolation. The rest needed to repair. Being drained for days on end. Not doing social things. People say, what are you doing tonight? And I say, nothing. And they say, well, if not do anything, come out. They don't understand that I need to recover and save myself for tomorrow. So I say no, and they say, I'm not asking you to donate a kidney or anything, just come out. It's not about getting published, or loved, or hated. Hess said, men who make thought their business will surely drown. Well, that's me. I'm fucking drowning. In lonely hell. I live in hotel rooms, houses, garages, whoever, wherever will take me. Couches, cars, back lawns. I house sit. I signed up to a group where they call if owners go away and their houses become available. I also exchange board for favours, babysitting, odd jobs, labour. Shit. I hope the owners don't come back today. I walk the streets. Day, night, afternoon, evening. I stew the ideas over. Over and over. And over again. I have a feeling of a story. A vibe. I hunt that vibe down like a detective. I hunt that vibe down like a, de like a detective. A vibe is all I have sometimes. I'm totally seduced by that vibe. I've been searching for this story my whole life. I feel the big idea coming, can smell it, almost taste it, but again it eludes me and keeps me hungry and lean and keen. I sit in mansions and write, or just think about writing. People tell me, I can't believe you stay alone in these mansions. Invite some girls over and pretend it's yours. Not for me. I can't be with girls. Guys, no. Friends. In small doses, maybe. When an idea comes, you have to let it sit in you, ingratiate itself with you, meditate on it, dream about it, do nothing about it, feel guilty about sitting about, feel guilty about sitting around barely working on it, live for it, work for it, be prepared to die for it. I wait for those ideas to fall from the heavens. At least that's where it seems the ideas come from. They don't seem to come from below. I catch myself looking upwards when thinking about an idea. I read once there are artists in higher dimensions that feed their ideas down to us. Feed me now, you fucker, I'm starving. The gestation period, letting ideas sit and feeling guilty because you're just sitting around and people think you're slacking off. The guilt. But if you go and do other stuff and not sit and wait and suffer, you don't get that random idea that just drops out of the sky. And they come with the dampest time. When I'm sitting in a car, when I'm sitting in a car, when I turn the corner of a building, when I walk into a room. What are you trying to accomplish, I ask myself. What am I trying to accomplish? People ask me, where is this great work? I need to feel heaven, I need to feel heaven and earth align first, I tell them. The thing is, I did not choose, it chose me and it fucked me, it lives out of me, I cannot resist. I wait for the idea, when it comes it strikes like lightning and there's a rush, adrenaline, and my whole being is awoken, but soon the excitement fades and the idea is one of many that is rejected. Visions of my personal hell, real and imagined. I blew a chance once to be represented by a top agent. She read some of my work and liked it, really liked it. She asked how I felt about writing and I said I loved and hated it. I don't think she liked that. I never heard from her again. I don't care. She was a dick. I'm a dick too, really. When I sit here, even when I'm struggling, it feels like it's where I'm supposed to be. People ask, you make a living from this? I just want to punch them. I understand why they ask, but I still just want to punch them. It would actually be a relief to make some money from this, because then I could, because then I could understand why I do it in the first place. These same people say I'm narcissistic. It's true, I'm studying myself. I'm studying being a human. How can I not? Being human's amazing. Writer's block. I don't believe in that shit. You either want to write or you don't. I know people who want to be writers, but they say, I don't have time to write. Bullshit. You make time. You have a choice. They don't want it as much as they think they do. You either do it or you don't. And I do. And I'm fucked. I'm nailed to this cross. It's my path chosen for me. 
I'm really, I'm really fucked for life. Do I like it? Yeah, kind of. Almighty paper, the mantle, the altar of my, the altar of my soul. Fuck you. Writing's a sick addiction. No wonder so many destroy themselves. It has ruined me, molded my perception, the way I speak, the way I think, the way I listen. It's made me voyeuristic. Or would I have been like that anyway? Or was it what happened to me in that creepy hotel room 20 years ago? What happened back there? I almost can't remember. Yes, I can. No, I can't. I was never the same after that. I've travelled the country, looking into the hearts of men and saw what they want. We're all the same. We look for the divine, in ourselves, in others. What am I searching for? What are we all searching for? I think we're all searching to connect, as if we somehow have been separated at birth and now looking for some kind of fusion, unison, approval, status, fame. But that's not lasting, and seemingly unsatisfying. Do I have something profound to say? I'm not sure. Is it the act of creating or sharing? I'm not sure. Why would someone want to do this with their life, connect the subconscious, share my feelings with others? That's it, that's all. Approval's only a bonus. I will write the great work that encompasses everything. Or maybe, one day, I'll just stop.